on this episode of AV Week, we take a look back at 2019, what the biggest stories, the biggest issues, and the biggest guests we had. All that and more next on AV Week. The network for the AV industry. What are you listening to? This. This is AV. This. This. This is AV Nation. Nation. This is AV Nation. This is AV Week, episode 436, the best of 2019. Support for AV Nation is brought to you by Crestron and by Draper, focused on innovative solutions. And by AV Pro Edge, manufacturer of next level video distribution solutions. Welcome to this very special edition of AV Week. My name is Tim Albright. I am your host as usual. What we do is we're, we're taking a look back at, at 2019. Uh, we do this typically every year around this time. The biggest stories, the biggest things um, happen, the most listened to episodes. For us uh, at AV Nation, it's been a huge year. Uh, we, we here at AV, at AV Week crossed episode number 400. So that was, that was kind of remarkable. Also started a number of shows, really great programs, and not just me, and, and, uh, but brand new voices as well. So I'm pretty excited about that. So go by the website, avnation.tv, and check those out. Uh, but again, what we typically do is we look back at the year and see what was the biggest stories, what were the most downloaded ones. Our first story actually starts briefly in, in 2018 following Plantronics' acquisition of Polycom. In March of this year, they rebranded, the two rebranded together under a new logo of Poly, a new logo and a new mission statement of providing innovative solutions for huddle rooms and collaborative spaces. On AV Week 395, Poly's own Sam Kennedy starts off talking about the process of becoming united under Poly and where the company would be headed in the unified communication space. It was a lot of coming together, figuring out who was who and what, what do we want to do moving forward. Um, I, and I don't think anyone was in a rush to, uh, to just change the name and change the brand just to do it. It was you know, what, what, what we want. We really wanted to do it right. I think uh, looking back, it's, uh, shoot, we, we, we were looking at doing just a separate event on our own. But, uh, but we felt Enterprise Connect was the right time. It was a lot of the key partner, a big part of what we do is, is, is our integration and partnerships. And so where everyone else was there, we thought Enterprise Connect would be, would be the right time. And so, uh, so that's why we, we chose this week. I, I wouldn't read into it any more than, than that. I mean, it was, it was really uh, just building around this strong partnership and, and, and having everyone really be part of this big launch. So I think it, it really looked at, it turned out to be, uh, be well worth it, I think. Margo, from a standpoint of somebody who's, who's watched this space for a long time, this was one of the more significant mergers and acquisitions. And let's, let's kind of time, you know, constrain this time frame here. The last 10 years, we've seen a number of what I would say blockbuster m as right? Not only in the uh, integration mark, but also in the manufacturer side. Very few of them, though, were, were had the word had the the billion dollar uh, behind it, right? And we, I think I can count on one hand. I could be wrong about that. So this is one of the more significant ones we've seen. What does this say, and what does this mean? Uh, not only the, the obviously that we're a year after the merger and acquisition, but the fact that Polycom and Plantronics and are, are saying, you know, this we're we we are in this UC space by virtue of this rebrand. Well, I think it's it's really electrifying, and I think it really points exactly to the trend of how is everything going to tie together. There's no shortage of screens, of conference room solutions, of even you know native um, solutions that have Zoom baked in, that have Teams baked in, that have Skype for Business baked in. But what's really interesting, and I think what my readers both crave and are observing, are frictionless systems so that they can deploy at scale so that they can get all of their remote users their on-site users up and running so they're collaborating in real time they're not fielding like a billion skillion um, urgent help desk calls that they need to update a driver there's plugins not working so with an acquisition like this where you have the ubiquity of polycom you know that conference room that phone solution that we all know we can see it with or you know we can imagine it as you walk into any conference room and what I'm getting from the coverage of Enterprise Connect is that the merger really creates a way to pivot and stay absolutely agile 
as AI enabled solutions come into the, you know, user experience becomes more important, the voice assistance, as machine learning kind of brings up the AI enabled uh, Alexa for business systems, that they're going to position themselves in a place that can grow and adapt as the user change, the user needs change and grow and adapt. But again, going right back to that frictionless way of thinking about deployments at scale. And so, you know, the soft product uh, trend is just going to continue. And I think this is really interesting and I'm going to be watching it closely. And again, my perspective is from the, the tech manager side of things as the editor at large of AV technology. I'm always thinking about the IT manager and the AV manager and what their pain points are and where they need to add value. And so something like this really, again, it just gets to that point of bringing the solutions together in a more comprehensive way. And it's really interesting. And again, this sort of breathtaking number of announcements is also fascinating too. I was not at Enterprise Connect this year, I, I had to miss it, but I've been there in the past and it really does continue to grow in relevance in the tech manager community. And even in the press release that I read, the IT manager gets a lot of name dropping as it were that kind of new decision maker really in the AV conversation as uh, UCC and telephony kind of merges again into that soft codex space. So definitely on trend and really interesting. So it's great to hear the inside word from you, Sam. Thank you so much for watching this first segment of AV Week. To check out the rest of the episode where we talk about the rest of the stories for 2019, check out the link below or go by the website, avnation.tv. That's avnation.tv. 